Ciao a tutti! This is Marcello from Vito Italy and this is your regular update on the coronavirus situation here in Italy. Well, as the world is on lockdown and Italy has the worst record in casualties, I think the time is right for telling you what's really going on here, honestly and really, so that uh, you can learn from our experience. Okay? Some countries are behind us, 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, UK, US and Canada, uh, South America, Australia. So you can learn from what we did and we did not, what we chose to do and what we chose not to do, our present situation and our future. Okay? So, first of all, we were not prepared. We didn't think that uh, a pandemic like this would come to Europe and uh, we did not prepare anything. Uh, let's compare us with uh, um, South Korea or Taiwan or Singapore. They had uh, a strategic plan, they had the procedures, they had uh, preparation uh, for, for physicians, for doctors and nurses, they had testing facilities, uh, they had the individual means of protections so that they, they stopped the contagion immediately. Second, we underestimated it. So we thought that uh, this could be uh, a kind of flu and, and so it would not turn into a, a severe um, epidemic like it is now. So we stopped the flight from China uh, to Rome, to, to Italy, uh, direct flights, but we didn't think about uh, uh, stopping all travelers from China so people would fly from China to Dubai to Frankfurt to London and uh, get into Italy spreading the contagion here. Third, bad communication. The government decided to shut down first a few villages then uh, the regions of Lombardy and Veneto 18 million people but in the process of uh, communication between the central government and the governors something leaked out, the news leaked out, and people knew before uh, that uh, this measure would come into effect that the, the two regions would have been shut down. So they fled from Lombardy and Veneto to other regions and they brought the epidemic with them. They brought the contagion with them to Sicily, Puglia, Campania, Lazio, Toscana, you name it. So this was really a mess. And then uh, contradictory measures. That is, uh, the government reacts, uh, instead of being proactive, it reacts uh, to something which is happening. That is, uh, uh, we were allowed uh, at the beginning uh, to stay out and to walk into parks and to jog and to take our, our dog out and uh, you could walk from one side of the city to the other side of the city without any problem. But then they understood that, that uh, having so many people out of their homes would be uh, a formidable uh, means of, uh, of uh, contagion. So they stopped it all and they put uh, new regulations uh, uh, about uh, circulation. So and uh, they strongly um, invited people to stay home and they imposed fines and penalties on, uh, on uh, improper movement around. Four, organization, lack of organization. Uh, we didn't think uh, that uh, the, the front of this war is the hospitals. So we didn't protect our health operators from the very beginning. When you have a hospital, you have a center uh, of the disease, and if you have health operators who are not protected, they are spreading the virus because they are in the forefront, they are there and they get infected very easily and they get back or get out of the hospital and they can infect their relatives and they can infect people uh, they, they, they meet, uh, they can infect uh, supermarket uh, operators when they go shopping, uh, you name it. Um, so this was uh, uh, something we did not understand. Protect your hospitals first. So at this point, what are we doing? What should we do? I think at this point, uh, at the government level, at the governor level, at lower uh, levels, 
uh, there is a general consensus on what to do. That is, follow strictly and thoroughly the recommendations issued by the WHO. Testing. We need to make as many tests as possible, starting from health operators, police forces and armed forces, people who work in uh, factories where they make essential goods, people who work at supermarkets, postal offices, everybody who is in contact with other people. Second, you need to trace the ill and you need to trace all the people who are in touch with the ill because uh, there's a strong possibility that more than 50% of them will be ill and so they will infect other people. Okay, there's a strong debate here about privacy, but uh, think about uh, the privacy you gave up uh, when you signed uh, with Google or uh, Facebook or uh, Microsoft for your data in your smartphone. So I think that uh, it, it should be uh, a procedure should be implemented for the cancellation of this data at the end of the pandemic. But now we need to use this data now and then isolate people when they are ill isolate them and uh, don't let them go out okay and if they go out trace them and bring them back home because they are very dangerous okay so at the end of it i hope that uh, we will be able to get out of it it will take time we can't see the end of the of the tunnel right now but I'm confident that, uh, and I hope that uh, in a very short time, I will come back to you with uh, more positive news. In the meantime, always wear your protection uh, means and uh, stay home. Please stay home. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll get back to you uh, in a few days with more news. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Ciao.